Dudes and dudettes of YouTube land, it's Frank with What's the Point EDC. I have no clue why I did not get this on camera. I I don't even know what I was thinking, so I got a wild hair up my rear, okay? I decided, I was like, I want to take apart the uh, Civivi Maxwell. So this is what we've got here, okay? I can't get it apart because that's not going to let me. That's like a two-piece or something. It's like riveted, some type of rivetation or something. I'm telling you, it ain't coming off. I've been battling with this for some time now. So this is what we get. There we go. Look at it. I'm going to move it like this. Ah, that's the best way to see the most of it. There you go. That's what it is. What do you think? Unfortunately, it ain't going to come off. So that's what it looks like. Skeletonized. Check it out. What you think? Pretty freaking cool, right? I'm, I don't know if I'm going to take the... Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do the uh, thumbnail for it. I'll probably leave it together for the thumbnail though. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys, um, give you a little close up of this side. Tell you guys a little bit about the knife. I'm gonna try to keep this under like five minutes, if I can. So what we have here is Civivi Maxwell. This is one of like five or six fixed blades that Civivi has. Uh, now I'm not even gonna put this back together on camera cause we already know what it looks like. Or I'll put this scale on as I'm talking. So it's G10 scales, D2 blade steel. Now I haven't uh, hard used this yet because it's a gift and I just don't want to get it all scratched up and all that. So what I'll do is once I buy one of my own, that's not a gift, I'll go ahead and beat it up. Uh, although I have done that with certain other gifts, but this one right here is gonna remain how, uh, how it is. I'm not doing anything to this one. It's just not happening. So what I'm trying to do right now is try not to cut myself while doing this. And uh, yeah, is that the right way? Yeah, there we go. It actually wasn't. I'm not even looking at the camera right now. I should be looking at the camera and this at the same time, making sure nothing's going to happen. Phone's going nuts. I'm just going to cinch that down. I'm not going to go ahead and get it real tight. Okay, let's put, uh, okay, we got two different sizes here. Look, you guys, that's one thing I didn't say. Here's one size. Here's the other look. So you've got four lashing points on each side, which you have eight lashing points. Two are bigger, two are smaller. The two outside, front and rear, are gonna be the big ones. The two in the center are gonna be the small ones. There's a lot of lashing points for this. So I'm gonna tell you, I am positive that this is an excellent knife for um, for hard use. I, I, I'm positive that it's gonna be a good hard use knife. I don't think there's going to be any rattling on the scales. I don't think they're going to come loose at all. I don't think there's going to be any issues. In fact, what I actually think is, let me hurt and just put these in there and get that out the way. What I think this is an all around good knife. It's, it's a larger size knife, uh, but a sheath could be made to make a smaller sheath than the one that comes stock with it can be made. So it can be an in pocket knife. You know, you guys know me. I've, I'm on the search for the perfect in-pocket fixie. I want the perfect one. Now, this Adamus 375, it's, it's looking pretty damn good. It really is. It's, it's a candidate right now. As of right now, it's the best in-pocket fixie I've ever had. As of right now. And uh, there's something I didn't show you guys. And I, I might or might not show you. I might put it in this video, I might not. Um, actually, I mean, I don't, I don't like putting it in this video. Here's what it looks like. It's got the uh, Trizola clip on it. Very nice, very nice. Listen to the sound it gets, listen. Very cool, right? This is a good knife. Kydex sheath, G10, right here, look at that pommel for days good jumping on it not really functional maybe this is functional i don't know let's feel let's feel let's feel it's probably functional yeah i'll say it's functional functional enough but the blade geometry on this let's cut a piece of paper do we think it'll cut do we think Savivi's edges are going to be good enough on a big fixie like this oh yeah it's the geometry is incredible yeah that trust me it's not the knife that sucks it's me we're gonna go ahead and do it with the Tanto, because this is definitely a Tanto. Modified Tanto, maybe. I wonder what they call it. 
do they call this a, a tanto a modified tanto what do they call this design very curious right here's your sharpening spot right here sharpening choil maybe maybe that's not purposely what it's for maybe that's just how it ended up i don't know it's like swedged with a fuller very cool i don't know the hardness on this so the hrc is up in the air right now i guess i could look it up real quick but i'm not because i don't edit none of that so it is what it is uh but there's one thing i do one day i want to talk about certain steels uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and say this real quick. For those of you who are here, I'll probably end up saying this another time or two or three or four. But so what I'm thinking is I'm getting ready to stop calling 14C28N, 154CM, Nitro V, and um, Nitro V, and N690. I'm getting ready to stop calling them budget steels. They're not budget steels. They're mid-tier steels. I need to, like, I know I have called 14C my favorite ingot steel, and I think I've called it my favorite budget, and I've called them budget steels. They are not budget steels. VG10 is also not a budget steel. Um, D2, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I just don't know what to call it yet. I know that from, from my testing, just, just from my testing so far, 14C outperforms D2, but that's just my testing. That doesn't mean that I'm right. That, that just means that that's what I have came to the conclusion of. Like, I'm not a knife steel nerd. You know, I'm not a metallurgist. Unfortunately, I would love to know some real information about steels. Trust me, I would love. And I'm working on it, guys. I am 100% working on it. I have serious dreams and aspirations for this channel and for myself. Trust me, I really do. I'm working hard on this. It is my dream to... I want to design a knife. 100%. It's what I want to do, and I want it to be a good knife, and I want it to be the best knife that I can make. So I'm trying to learn everything I can about steels, everything I can about handles, about materials, about ergonomics, things about blade thickness. I want to learn about the composition of this, the composition of that. You guys know I'm just babbling on now. We're seven minutes in. I would said I was going to make it five minutes. I'm sorry, guys. So look, this is how we're going to end this one right here. Sharp knives and good vibes only around here. Uh, I gave you guys a quick cut test. I took it apart. I did not take it apart on camera. I don't. I, I should have thought about that. Okay, so I put it back together on camera though. So we got a blacked out speedboat, shark looking, missile looking, million dollar yacht looking, space knife looking. This qualifies for space knife, right? Right? Maybe. This would be something you'd find on like Alien, Predator. This would be their knife. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fly show. All right, guys, look. This is Frank with What's the Point EDC. If you're an addict, never quit quitting. Stay strong and live long. Get the help you truly deserve so you can live your best life. Trust me, I know you can do it. You're a good person. If you're struggling with bad thoughts, know that there's help. And help is closer than you think it is. It may only just be one question away. So go ahead and ask away and talk. It's okay to talk. It doesn't end this way. It begins this way. Sharp knives and good vibes only. I'm Frank with What's the Point EDC. Stay strong and live long, everybody. Much love. Fade to Savivi Maxwell.